Alright, what's up guys, vpirate613 here, bringing you some more commentary, okay? Today, I'll be wrong class shit shit quickly, <laughs> be using this gun from now on. So yeah, I'm gonna be telling you about the do's and don'ts on YouTube. Now, I'm not a big YouTuber, I have 40 subscribers, but I've been on YouTube for fucking 6 years, dude. I've been on YouTube for 6 years, I've joined a lot of communities, I've been part of a lot of communities, I've even... Um, helped uh, grow a big community. I was part of a big community. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about some general do's and don'ts. I'm not going to be talking about how to fucking get more views and shit. No, that's not that's not what I'm going to be doing, dude. Oh fuck, fuck you, bitch! I love this fucking gun, dude. It is amazing. Like you don't understand. But anyway, the first do you need to start doing is structuring your videos, alright? Now, this is one of my more, most important ones, and I I suffer from this too. So, the first do is to structure your videos, okay? If you don't structure your commentary, it is going to be bad, okay? Some people are more natural at it uh, than other people, so they can easily uh, bang out a video. But I'm going to tell you, if you structure your commentary... It's going to be miles better, dude. It is going to be miles better. What I tend to do is, and what I recommend doing is, writing some ideas down in a notepad. Or, you know, if you're doing voiceovers, if you really have trouble speaking, then do, don't worry about it. Do some short scripts. Like, if you're doing voiceovers and not live comms, then just do some scripts, okay? It's not, it's not a big deal. Our brains all work differently. And if that helps you with your commentary, then do it, dude. The video is going to turn out much better. Now, next thing I want to tell you guys about the next do is to schedule your videos, okay? Now, this is important because if you actually have followers, they, they would know when to tune in. Like, if you have trouble, get, um, you know, uploading daily, then upload weekly, upload once a week every Monday or something like that. It's so easy. You have so much uh, ease uh, available to you that YouTube has, has made. It's just so easy. If you have trouble, then do the video a week before and schedule them for the week after. Time is there, man. There is time. And I think scheduling videos is important because I do like watching people schedule it at one time schedule it at a, a specific time and schedule it on a, on specific days let people know dude that will help you out that will help let your subscribers know to follow you um and expect videos from you at a certain time okay the next do the final do i want to talk about is engaging in with your audience engage with your audience engage in the comments if you're a small channel like me do respond to is to all the comments okay it's gonna it's gonna show your followers that you do listen to them and they will appreciate it if someone leaves you feedback do don't don't take it the wrong way take it as a good opportunity it is not a bad thing okay and also what i really really want you guys to be doing if you're a small channel is engaging with smaller communities okay Engage on smaller channels, engage in the comments, don't don't spam them, just leave feedback, tell them what you thought about the video and you know the the people who really care about YouTube will appreciate it and some may even follow you. Uh, some people on here that you know I really like some of the smaller YouTubers that are actually decent, I leave feedback and they they, they come and tell me how appreciative they were how um support and they support me so even if it's 40 subscribers you know i don't have many active people but at least you know there's some good people who are following me now on to don't now the first don't that you need to not do it's very bad it is scummy as shit okay don't do sub for sub don't fucking do sub for sub if you i see you on my channel doing sub for sub i will kill you i will come there my hand will come for your screen i'm gonna strangle you it is scummy people work hard on their videos so don't be a fucking dick okay it pisses me off don't do it otherwise i will kill you now it's fine if you go leave feedback and you say and you, you know you tell people to leave feedback on your channel that's what i do i tell people to leave feedback on my channel or to go and um or what I tend to do is I always leave feedback and then I tell people, okay, if you've got time, then 
take a look at my channel or, or leave some feedback I, I'm not telling them to subscribe because most of them won't subscribe because they probably don't like my content but if they do they're gonna be an active a follower because they actually spent time and and left feedback and that's what I think more people should be doing instead of being stupid now the th second don't I think um, I think we're on the second don't yeah the second don't is to not rush your videos don't fucking don't rush your videos I'm I suffer from this sometimes I'm lazy and I don't do a video a day so I basically just I rush some of my videos and they don't turn out well and as a content creator you don't feel very very nicely about it you don't feel happy about the video okay if you're very if you're actually serious about it dude you're not gonna be happy about it and it's not good it will show in your likes it will show in your subscriptions and people will generally tell you what they think about it it is a problem just work on your videos guys don't don't be like me and try to rush them they won't turn out good and your commentary won't turn out good so just don't just don't do it now the very last don't oh we finished anyway I'll quickly tell you about the very last don't so this match was actually quite quick the very last don't is don't ignore feedback guys from people okay just it will help out on your channel if you're a small youtuber like me any feedback is a good sign okay it also as I said shows that you are listening to people you are allowing them to change the way YouTube works and for the better for the better so keep an open mind I've left feedback on people some people you know their microphones I'm very technical my uh, my career I've always been and want to be an IT guy I've got the education for it and anything IT related sound related I help people out and some people don't care this guy is been uploading for months now and he still has background noise which I said I could help him out with you know he didn't listen to my feedback I'm sitting there like in your video you say you want to schedule videos you want to do well in YouTube yet you don't want to take um, feedback from me so I just didn't respond and I just didn't care I just left him there's no need to get frustrated over stupid shit like that I know it's small and it didn't frustrate me at all anyway I just want to talk about it because feedback is important guys if you're a small youtuber anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video tell me what you think in the comments below if you have any any feedback to give people let them know in the comments because this video can end up 20 minutes being 20 minutes 30 minutes i could talk about this all day i have been around for a long time on youtube i have seen channels grow i have seen channels be destroyed i've been on communities that died out a lot of communities that died out because of stupid stuff so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed.